Hey everybody, how is it going? Tony here, Black Hills Mommy, back again with another large grocery haul. This is actually an exceptionally large one because, funny story, we were supposed to be going on vacation as a family. I was running down our pantry, so there were several things I hadn't been getting, and we're not all going. So I needed to stock up for myself and the three little ones who are staying home as well as having stuff for when everybody else gets back. They're only gonna go, Shauna's taking the four older girls for just two days, just one night. And so I need food for the rest of the week. And then if you don't know, if you haven't watched my grocery hauls before, we do one large grocery haul every other week, the weeks in between our fill-in weeks. We get groceries every week. I cannot do once a month shopping. And I'm not a fan of having so much stuff in my pantry that I can do an entire month worth of pantry clean out. Um, so I know that's big for some people, that's not for me. So let's take a look at everything we got. Guys, I was not kidding when I said we got a lot. As you can tell, I also didn't clean up in the background before we started this. So welcome to my life. Starting at the right, which is where I typically do, the girls help me set up. Um, they're getting better about doing that and wanting to do that. So it's not quite in the same order. I always do it, but this is actually the way it fit on the table too. So let's start in the back corner. Pop-Tarts. This is not a typical purchase for us. This is something you will probably not see again. That is actually breakfast and car snacks for the oldest four. They are leaving bright and early tomorrow morning. So we grabbed those. That was a special request from them. I went ahead and fulfilled. These Belvita snack packs, we thought this would be a nice change up from the snack packs that we've been buying the last couple months. Cheez-Its have remained a very popular snack in our house. So that needed to be replenished as well. Gogurts, we have not been going through quite as many lately. However, we are getting low and they had Avengers. So I figured Blake would probably like that. The Yo Play box, our kids love when they get in the ones that have peaches. So Blake is going to be over the moon when he realizes we have those tomorrow. He knows Blake is a big theme on this grocery haul, I guess. These Bantam bagels, these are yummy cream cheese filled little bagel bites. Not something I buy very often. I was getting hungry while shopping, which is also going to be a very common theme in this grocery haul. Dino bites. Honey Graham toasters. The Dino Bites was a special request by Blake. Again, uh, we went ahead and filled it because we felt bad they don't get to go on the trip that we were all going to go on now. So I wasn't going to fight it. These beer cheese chips, guys, these are really yummy. I find these at Sam's Club. I have personally found that I'm kind of addicted to those. Sean grabbed this bag of baked lays for himself to snack on on the road trip. We also came across these s'mores Oreos. I am a sucker for s'mores. They're not very big packages. So the size of our family, we got two packages of those to split between everybody. Hershey's bars. That is for something I plan to attempt to make. I'll show you something else that's going to go with it here in a minute. Uh, I don't know. I just had a weird idea when we were at the store. And again, I was getting hungry. Heath bars. This is something Sean usually keeps in his van. As you can tell, he broke into it while we were out grocery shopping. Apple fritters, cinnamon rolls, knots. These are things that half of this can be consumed with the little ones. Some of it Taya cannot have. Um, but this is stuff that'll, I don't know, just extra treats that are going to last us most of the week. Broccoli salad. I have a weakness for this. This is super yummy. I was so excited a few weeks back, actually just before Easter, when I found this at Sam's Club. Taya cannot eat this. It is made with traditional mayonnaise, which does have eggs in it blueberries, raspberries, because we go through a lot of fresh produce in our house. Hot dogs, that's something you guys have gotten used to seeing. We always buy these Oscar Mayer Naturals, um, just slightly better ingredients and quality. Romaine lettuce, it was time to finally get some more of that. Green peppers, I really prefer to buy organic green peppers, but if you've watched my videos, you've heard my rants about the access to organic produce out here, and I wanted this to make in a dish, so I just dealt with non-organic. Same thing with the pears. Charlie has learned to make baked pears, really enjoys doing that. They had some there that were not looking so bad. So I grabbed a bag of those. Uh, we'll see if we get more after this or not. One thing I did not get was a bag of 
apples because the organic apples did not look good. Coming back over here, we've got puddings, uh, freezer sandwiches. Basically, those are the freezer foods to help replenish what we lost when our freezer died. Uh, we've, we're down to just the one deep freeze, so I have to be careful not to get too much, but that, since I'm going to be on my own with the three little ones, a few more extra convenience foods, what we're going with this time. Real crumbled bacon. If you've watched any of my recipe videos, you know I use this from time to time. Walmart has this in the bulk section. Sam's Club sells their own version. It is not as good. Honestly, we've never find one, found one that we like as much as this Hormel brand. Cream cheese. Again, you've seen me use that in a lot of soups and things. Ground flaxseed. We use this as an egg replacer in a lot of recipes. What I had left in the fridge had expired. So we just grabbed a small bottle at Walmart. When he heads to Sioux Falls, he's going to stop at Costco and get me a new big bag. Barbecue sauce, because this is slightly better ingredients than the other one I had bought and I wanted to have that on hand for when the other one runs out. Cashew butter, we've never tried this. Saw it at Target, thought we'd give it a shot, see how everybody likes it. These mini ready crust grams, or gram crust. Anyhow, this is what that chocolate is gonna be for. I have, I don't know, an idea for a chocolate pie for the kids I wanted to try going into summer. I thought it'd be kind of fun. Uh, butter and herb mashed potatoes. This is not something we buy very often, but since I'm going to be here with just the three little ones, it's fast and easy, and I can make it as a side to go with a dish. Chicken salad. This is something everybody but Taya can eat. Again, it's made with regular mayonnaise, so it has eggs in it. Not okay for her. I've shown everything else in that line there. Almond milk. We buy this every week because we do go through both bottles in the course of a week. Um, it is every week that we're buying it, isn't it? Yep. Okay question myself for a second there. <laughs> the two fryer chickens. Um, we try to get these every big grocery haul week. I cook them in the Instant Pots. That video is also available here on my channel. And yeah, we just do that every two weeks. Uh, we cook it, we shred it, and we use it in different dishes or just as it is. Cuties, that's the rest of our produce here. Along with, Sean picked up some Fuji apples at Safeway. There were four. He told me to tell you that he ate one of those as well. And the two organic Roma tomatoes that I asked because I have been wanting to make focaccia bread again and I like to put Roma tomatoes on top of there. We are almost out of sliced cheese. Sam's Club was out of the package of just Colby Jack, so I got the Colby Monterey combo pack, which is okay because everybody will eat both of them. Block cheese, that's something we go through fairly frequently. String cheese. We are completely out. Again, there's a lot of things that I just let run completely out because I figured we'd go grocery shopping after we got back and we plan on making a lot of stops at Costco. So, well, he'll get some things. Butter, we go through plenty of that because of French toast, which will not be happening this week because of the trip. Bananas, we go through those as well. Sam's Club finally brought back my farmer's market chicken breasts. I have not seen these for a while. They are the original price of $3.48. I was so excited, and of course, other people must have been too because there were not that many in the cooler. Stew meat. This, I actually take it out and I cut these pieces because they actually cut them pretty big sometimes. I cut them down a lot smaller, and then I freeze them down for about three meals worth that I can use in the Instant Pot for stews and things um, or a stir fry. Al Pastor, it's that time again. We do this once or twice a month. We make tacos with it, uh, Taco Tuesday, which again, Blake has decided we need to do every week. Kombucha, I love this live kombucha. It's usually flavor soda. I'm soda flavored, my goodness. I am a big fan of the root beer, but they were completely out when he went to Safeway, so he grabbed me some blueberry, orange, raspberry and lemon lime. I've got two oranges and two raspberries. So that'll get me through until they restock the root beer flavor. They've also got a cola flavor, which is okay, but I'm not a huge fan. And then of course we have his weekly dose of tea. So that is what restocking my pantry when I thought we were going on vacation looks like. 
Well, that is this week's big grocery haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I reply to everything as quickly as I can. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss everything that's coming up next. And I'll see you in the next video.